Or run it back. Okay, I don't, now we we gotta get some redemption on on pay to win, man. Like it's the only way. I can't believe how badly we got bodied on pay to win. What's the secret for pay to win? Get a ladybug. Win early, scale late. Be the milky streamers. Why do you hate JJ Abrams? I don't hate JJ Abrams. Hey, let me say a couple of things, okay? Um Star Trek 2009, pretty good. 2008 maybe. Hey Murph, 805. Thank you as well for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Roll me. Much preferred. Um, and, like everybody else on the planet when it came out, I liked The Force Awakens. There's definitely, like, you know, even while watching it for the first time, you did get the vibe, like, I've seen this shit before. But still, you're like, it was fun. It was like a thrill ride. But then, like, the... I just feel like... His style, I guess this is maybe a personal take, but I don't think I'm alone here. This is an interesting kind of food build we got. Um, I feel like his style has aged in like a very cynical way. Like, the fact that... Like, if M. Night Shyamalan's currency is twists, J.J. Abrams... This is where we can stand, no chance here. J.J. Abrams is like nostalgia. It's like, remember this, remember this. And honestly, I would rather somebody, and I say this as somebody who watches some Marvel stuff, don't get me wrong, but I would rather somebody like, uh, you know, swing for the fences and have it go either like gloriously right or gloriously wrong. At least I like to tell myself that's the case. Um, plus two? Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you, by the way. I think the squad is kind of uh, bad. But hold on. This might get us... This might get us there. Yet you hate High Life? Yeah, nothing happens in the movie. Like, I, I don't mind slower movies. Like, let me give you an example. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Slow movie. But... It's still nice. You know, there's there's moments where things pop and it gets like very serious and the score is all oh, 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 you know. Um click when he uses the slow button. Absolutely. That's so true. Um So true. I don't know, man. I'm scared here. Let's try something like that. Keep the B at the back just in case. I wonder what you really think of 2001 A Space Odyssey. I mean, I, I have a non... Uh... Oh, come on. Come on. We're like one away from getting draws every time. I, I like... Uh... I like 2001 A Space Odyssey. I also don't feel like 2001 A Space Odyssey is, is boring. It's, it's, there's some moments that are a little slow, I guess, or some moments that are like a little still, but it's not like a slow movie. Like things happen. We got an 813 ant. What the hell is wrong with me? But I will say that at the end of the movie, that is my least favorite part. Like, the whole movie, I was like, wow, this is, like, really interesting. And then at the end, when they hit you with the the psychedelic light show for, like, 15 minutes, I'm like... You couldn't have, you couldn't have just done it for, like, like 30 seconds? I would have gotten the point, but it, this shit is just going, like... I still think it's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I still think it's like a good movie. I don't think it's like a bad movie or anything. Hold on. If if I use a can, does, does this buff these guys? There's no way that could... It should work. It should work. 
It's legit like 15 minutes long. That's what I'm saying, man. It's just a little too... That part is just like a little too long, man. I'm not saying anything about your personality. Like, if you... Uh, if you enjoy that part, like, I'm not saying, you know, tell me you microdose without telling me you microdose. I'm not making any, like, personal attacks like that or whatever. I'm just saying, like, it's not for me. And then when it ends and there's the ending is kind of weird, I'm like, yo, that's kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. I think that part's kind of neat. But the part where it's, like, you know, just a, a little bit of a light show, I'm like, I get it. They invented electricity in the 1960s. Like, you're excited to use it, but can you can we just get over it, please? This is, this is scary, man, because we are right on the borderline. This is not necessarily a guaranteed win. Squad's pretty good. For, considering it's only round 10, the squad's pretty good, but... God, I hate an ox, man. I lost to a damn snail. Can you believe it? Choose outcome. We'll pay out the doubters. Snail meta. That one hurt. That hurt me deep in my soul. Thoughts on Wes Anderson movies? I, I like them. I haven't seen a lot in the last... Decade, admittedly. But I, I enjoy a Wes Anderson film. I enjoy a little harpsichord. Be the edible baguettes this time. Rushmore, yeah, Rushmore is probably legit in my top, you know, 50 movies all the time. Maybe top 30. I don't know. I have never constructed a list like that because I have a full-time job. But, well, I don't know. Maybe that's not fully true. <laughs> Depends on your definition of full time. Like if you use like the dictionary definition or like the platonic ideal definition. I think um what the heck? Son of a I think uh like Rushmore is very great. I think the Royal Tenant Bombs is also great. This is sick, man. Speaking of greatness. Give me a bat for now. And then you move up. Freeze me. We'll roll two pills, probably. Give me a swan for the future. Give me a beaver. I'll freeze the whole damn shop. I'm not above it. Um, Life Aquatic, I think, is okay, but highly overrated. Darjeeling Limited, only Wes Anderson movie I, I ever saw in theaters. Absolutely enormous disappointment. But by and large, I would describe myself as pro Wes Anderson. Grand Budapest Hotel, I have not seen. I, I know, I heard it's amazing. I told you, I haven't seen many in like the last decade. I haven't seen Fantastic Mr. Fox. I haven't seen, uh, what's the one where they're at the camp? I have seen Bottle Rocket. Bottle Rocket is pretty good. Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, I haven't seen Moonrise Kingdom. Also known as the one where they're at the camp. Okay, honestly, bad. You get out of here. Skunk me. The Adams Family. That's, excuse me, shut up. That's the Adams Family values where they go to the camp. The first Adams Family takes place almost exclusively in Adam's Manor, except when they get evicted by Tully and they have to go live in like a motel. That's where Gomez starts watching the People's Court too much. Okay, take this. So true, so true. <laughs> I mean, dude, honestly, people are always talking about movies that aged badly. If you want a, a prime example of movies that have aged well, I think you got to look at the Adams Family films. First Adams Family movie was like, when it came out, people, I mean, I was three, but looking back on the response, people were like, eh, it's okay. Now people are like, oh, it's like a, the perfect model for like how a husband and wife should live. Second Adams Family movie, people were like, this one breaks the mold and is actually better than the first one, which rarely happens. Now people are like, it's 
Joan Cusack is so freaking good in that movie, dude. Plus, you got pubert. Yeah, what, what more could you want? <laughs> Hmm. No, come on. We don't roll scorpions. So it's a new era. Also, Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester. Oh, shit, dude. What the fuck? In Adam's Family Values, when uh, he's wearing the, uh, the wig and the huge jacket, has got to be one of the worst looks in movie history. And it's on purpose, so I respect it so much. We're actually cracked now. I, I think you gotta go, and I'm gonna take a risk. That's my risk. I would like to go back on my... I'm gonna do both. Sorry, Swan. Oops. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, oops. Uh, your owns. Get owns, 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 okay. Great movie, man. I, I love the Adams. I watched both of the Adams Family movies like in the last year as well. I did, this is like the most movies I've ever watched in a year for sure. I mean, well, last year because of the baby, but. Mamushka Dance, great scene. Absolutely great, ski, great scene. I would like to ask though, like, I mean, like, at the, because that's like Fester's, uh, like, return. How the hell does that lady fall in love with Cousin It? Like, I'm not, maybe this is problematic, but he's just hair. Like, I, I, get, oh, whoa, whoa, NL, whoa. But, like, like, it's just, and he doesn't even talk. He's just like a weird little dude that's just hair and a hat and sunglasses. Are you jealous? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, there we go. Pay out the believers at least. I don't know. He's just like, he's a weird kind of guy, you know? How are we going to get you to pop? I don't know. Like, now that we paid out the believers, let's get let's get funky with it, man. Let's let's roll a little rhino build here. A little, little steak rhino, so he's guaranteeing himself that first kill. Hair that doesn't talk versus bald that always talks. You know what? Maybe you figured it out. Maybe that's why I've, I've got such a negativity associated with Cousin It. We're like the exact opposite of the political compass from one another. And I'm based, so I think you know what that means for Cousin It. Yeah, I'm running a chili pepper on my hatching chick. What quadrant is Cousin It? It's a great question. I don't know what any of the quadrants are as well, so it's an even greater question. Look at this, dude. I'm chilling. Come on. What a waste of everybody's time. I, I'm a believer that, like, you would think that chili on... Let's go. You'd think chili on your weakest unit is bad value because it'll only attack once. I think it's great value because, I mean, it is. it needs a piece of equipment to do anything. So why not turn it from like a 2-2 into a, you know, 7-2 splash damage? At least you can, ex you can be breaker of melons, Khaleesi, breaker of melons, phrasing. One more, rhino, rhinoceros, rhinoceros me. I'm not, I'm not swapping anything out to fit in a freaking T-Rex, are you stupid? I would never like be caught dead doing that. I know I sold my level three, but that's okay. The bison's already popping. The T-Rex has the chance to spread it a little wide. What the heck happened to my rhino? Okay, it all went wrong. The beaver wouldn't have stopped that, just for the record. I think. Skunk me. 
Take a, take a little something off the top. Beaver tied the room together. True, true, that's true. Honestly, we, we're kind of stupid for rolling a hatching chick right now. I don't know what I'm thinking. That, that, I, I'm, I'm a believer in the turtle as well. I, I have, we, we got a nine win. That's a believer payout. That's great news for one. But then also, I'm a big believer in the turtle, dude. I've been, I've been loving some microbe turtle builds lately. I've been loving this shop because it's the greatest shop you're ever going to see. Honestly, could be worse. Be the disgruntled geysers. It just, it also feels like you don't get many chances to feel like you outthought somebody in this game. Well done. The one chance you get is when you run a micro build, you get to like look at the other person in the soul and be like, I read you. I read you. It feels great. We can't lose. Clear eyes, warm hearts, can't lose. Scorpion placement in the middle of the squad does allow for that. You're not wrong. Not wrong. I love this, man. For now, let's do this, but then I'll freeze a swan to run as we combine our birds next turn. Warm hearts. I don't I ain't ever seen Friday Night Lights, dude. I'm Canadian. I watch hockey movies like Mystery Alaska. Love it. Come by me. Do it. Detritus. You know what, though? If you're detritus, what's sticking around? Our swan's sticking around. Give our ladybug some buffs. And you know what? If that's the case, then we should do it like this. What's your opinion on Ferrero Rocher? I think it's tasty. Two level two horses. Holy cow. You got me. It was close, but you got me. I'll be honest, though. Like, in general, I'm just not much of a... Uh, sure, let's, let's get crazy. I'm not much of a uh, chocolate guy. Let's put our money where our mouth is, man. Let's squeeze a turtle out there. Um, like, I don't... Uh, I don't know the difference, but I know that people say, like, you know, like, Hershey's is, like, flavored with the same component that's in vomit or whatever. And, but Cadbury's where, like, the real uh, gamers love to shop, you know? I don't, I don't know that or, like, Lint Sport or whatever or Ritter Sport, I should say. I'm, not, I'm just not, like, a chocolate guy. I'll just feed you, man. This squad is, is popping right now. I would much rather, and we'll, we'll find this out in the snack tier list later. And this is true. And, and I think if, if Kate's still here, she could attest. If Kate buys, like, candy or chocolate, the odds of me... Like, my self-control can hold out at, like, a, at the level of a monk. If she bought, like, a Kit Kat and just left it on the kitchen counter... It would take a year for me to reach like low blood sugar, no other food, lack of self-control. Fine, I'm just going to eat it and I'll pay, get her another one. If she left like a bag of Doritos on the, on the island, it's not lasting 48 hours. Uh, unless like something, like if I'm fundamentally like I'm not going to eat that, the salty snacks stand no chance. The sweet stuff doesn't, is not that uh, tempting to me, but the salty stuff, oh man, absolutely. We stand a savory streamer. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, you're going to stick around because we're probably going to just uh, buy a bison as soon as we get one, uh, which could happen. 
pretty soon. True, true, that's true. I like a, a buffalo, but I don't want to sell anything here, mostly because they've all got equipment, so we're actually, like, in full-on, uh, like, sunk cost. Whether it's a fallacy or not, I guess, depends on if we get to 10 wins, which is maybe in and of itself kind of a fallacy, but... Thoughts on the gummies? I mean, for me, I think that's where the arbitrage lies at its greatest. Like, I know people are like, I don't really like sweet stuff, but like gummy bears, though. And I'm like, I, I just kind of, when I'm eating gummy bears, I'm always like, I was always like, you know, it's okay. But I would rather have like one Dorito than a handful of gummy bears. I'm just begging you. Just get, yes, thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Give me a bison, man. Okay, whatever. That's going to be level two next turn. We got some good stuff. One Dorito is psychopathic. I don't know. I just don't find the gummy bears like that delicious, to be honest with you. I find them like, like it's matter. Like when I'm eating them, I'm not like, oh, this is matterless. But I'm not like particularly into them. So that, I mean, again, that's a great arbitrage supply because like on halloween if you love gummy bears or sweet snacks in general as a kid i would love to like if you're the kind of person that's like i'd trade three bags of doritos for one kit kat we got to find each other because we're going to maximize our happiness as a result of being a good trading pair if, if you want to trade me kit kats for doritos at a one-to-one -one ratio and we both think that we're scamming the other person that's true happiness right there I'll chill you. I'm not afraid. By the way, pay out the believers. What a world. Well, it's not that great to break the melon armor on an ox that just gets it right back. Hey, hey, what's it like to get a bison, Hadden Misher? You should be careful about saying uh, foreign words. Okay, you should go. Madge. Nice bison, you piece. Love it. Love it. Love it. I mean, that's a beautiful turnaround. I no longer have any uh, hatred in my heart for what you've done here. I'll even take... You should have bought a salad. There we go. Level 2 bison already. It means te testicle mixer? That, that honestly has created more questions from... Oh, you're going to create a freaking bus, you piece. For me, that's created more questions than it's solved. We got a serious problem here. I don't mind our turtle. I would like to level it up, but I'm being told that I skipped one. So as a result, my actions and my words uh, are in direct contravention of one another. Okay, I guess we'll continue rolling. That's, that's interesting, okay. Why is the boar so cute? It's a cute animal, it's a cute animal. Not the, it's cute, cute, that's cute. Level, oh, you're level two. We take those, we take those draws. If only the tiger did anything on this squad, man, oh man, would we be off to the frickin' races. There's only one way out of this. I'm sorry to my swan. I rolled the bison because we're on lethal. That, that one was the rare non-bison blind. That This is like, this is bison tactics. You don't need the fish. Yeah, but the fish... <clears throat> in many ways. Look, it's real to me, damn it. There's a win. Hello. We're not going to get there, but still. Okay, okay, okay. 
He got to dance with the one that brought you. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the dance with the two that brought you challenge. Here we are. Look, dude, that's eight. Oh, you got to go for the scaling over the turtle here for sure. Dance with the two who brought you challenge impossible. Gone sexual. No, we weren't going to make it anyway. All right. All right, all right. No cell challenge? Bro, just the game is a challenge. We, this this new uh, pay-to-win meta, what a shop. We paid out the doubters like six times at the start of the stream. I'm not in the position of making my life harder doing like a, you know, no cell challenge right now. Okay, this is a beautiful start. Nah, that's, that's good, that's good. Be the dry sailors. Pay to win is the challenge itself. Who? What? This might be the rare super fish build. What is the super fish build? I'm glad you asked. In theory, if you got six fish, we're at four right now, you could create two level two fish, get the one up trigger, and then combine them to get a level three fish and get another level up trigger. So I'm not saying that's what we're gonna do, at least not all at once, but you gotta admit, the, the possibility to be existing freeze the whole damn shop. Holy crap, what the heck is going on out here, man? We haven't run a, a bad focus build in a while. This is interesting. Love to make the 2 HP unit weak. Although I guess I can't really complain. Like, what'd you expect? You know, all these units are gonna have like two or three HP. Now? Easily the easiest decision of my life. We're gonna have to wait one turn. What? <clears throat> it actually mattered? Oh, okay. Okay, these horses, I, I have to say a thing or two about horses now. They're actually getting kind of cracked. You piece. In the early game, I now fear a horse more than I've ever feared one before. I'm going to give up on this dream temporarily. I'm also, I'm going to be straight up with you. Rather than buy one of these animals just to sell it in the future... Just hook me up with that. How do you feel about chips on a sandwich? Highly, extremely for it. We win these. The, the single best crunch augmenter that exists on planet Earth. This is a great run so far. I feel like a lot of people... I feel like a lot of people say no to the chips on the sandwich for health-based reasons. And I would never tell somebody that, you know, they're like wrong for doing that necessarily. But I feel like you get a great value out of it. Like four or five chips on an entire sandwich gives you a great layer of crunch for what? Like 30, 40 calories? I'd rather have that than like some kind of garbage sauce. That you're like, oh, I don't even really like it, but sure, put 80 calories of mayonnaise on my sandwich. Like, are you kidding me, man? Stop wasting my time. I would love the, the chips, man, for sure. For sure, for sure. I would not say no to it. Now you got me a little hungry. Dude, we're, we're absolutely crushing it here. Pickles, sure, but, but pickles are like, they're a different texture, too. You know what? Get the heck out of here. I'm going to feed this bat. I'm sick. Then, put a turtle on the squad. Oh, hello. 
Have you been wearing your coat since the last time you came in here? You need help? No. Oh, I see. <laughs> I think I've been getting my butt kicked. <laughs> I could I could use a little help. I'm not pilling a turtle yet. It hasn't even had a chance to freaking go here, man. Don't even start with me. It hasn't even had a chance to get off the ground yet. Yeah, we're uh it it's uh it's non-stop cold in Vancouver. We're actually in like, you know, another cataclysmic weather event, which is insane. I can't believe we had like a heat dome and we're going to have like unseasonably cold temperatures in the same like 5 month period. It's crazy. Hold on, we paid out the believers already? How quickly people forget, by the way. You know, it's it's kind of sad to think about. People have gone from like, I'm never gonna, you know, recover from this. My points, my points. And now they're like, bison blind. <laughs> bison blind. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. Easiest choice of my life. We still got HP to play with. I'm not worried about this. Not even worried about that, honestly. Honey badger. Oh, sell the fish, they said. Sell the fish, they said. Well, you must be feeling pretty silly right about now. Pretty silly indeed. A turtle, they exist. I mean, it, by like, what the hell? It's the same dude. By like, uh, this, we're, we're screwed here. By like East Coast temperatures is not gonna get that cold. Like I think the the coldest is gonna get is like minus eleven Celsius or something like that. But it's the same thing. You you always gotta say it. Like if it doesn't get to that temperature, then like you don't even know what the hell is like when it gets to that temperature here. That's all I'm saying. Honestly, I'm rolling four squad Marty. Get the hell out of here. That was that was better for us, I think. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Like, we're getting... Uh, ah, minus 11 is nothing for the East Coast. Uh, so true, so true. Hey, oh my God, was anybody at the 1.8 Richter scale earthquake in Garden City, New Jersey? Holy shit, the glass of water on my desk went like... Mm. I thought I was gonna die. It was insane. Oh my god, but people in the rest of the world are such babies about weather events. Holy shit. Oh my god. It was I was like, whoa, I thought I felt something, and then I checked the news and I did feel something. It's like I wasn't actually like physically jostled, but I was like, oh my equilibrium's kind of like a little what the fuck? I survived an earthquake? Oh my god. Shut the frick up. Pay out the believers. Hey, y'all, who's at the earthquake? All right, we're at 10.50. We could play one more. People on the West Coast would never understand. I fully fucking understand, because you guys come out here, you, you, you go from a place where six months of the year, it's like minus 40 degrees. You got to wake up at 5.45 a.m. to scrape off your, the windshield of your truck, shovel your driveway, drive to work. When you come back, you got to park on the damn street so you can shovel your driveway again, drive back into the house, and you go, oh, it's, uh, it, sucks. it sucks so bad out here. It sucks so bad out here. Then you go to, like, San Francisco for a week, and you're like, I don't know if I could ever live without the cold. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Just listen to yourself for two damn seconds. Who's the who's the baby in this situation? I'll be the upset geek. 
East Coast. Oh, oh, the weather here is so bad. Oh, I fucking hate it here. Oh, it's so fucking bad. Oh, people in other parts of the world wouldn't understand how bad it is to live in Boston, travel to any place else in the world. Oh, you, you don't have clam chowder on the menu? What the fuck? Fuck, fucking forget about it. That's what I think about you, East Coast. Hold on, give me a bird. People that love the winter are psychotic, man. <laughs> Come out to a place where the weather's beautiful year round. I kind of miss the seasons. I think, do you ever miss, you ever miss a fucking uh, blizzard that prevents you from being able to drive, but you still have to go to work? So you're on the fucking 401 white knuckled, you know, trying to keep three chevrons between you and the psycho in front of you. And then some you know, Chevy Silverado behind you is like right on your ass two inches away. Y'all, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Jesus Christ. Do you hear yourself? Hold on, we're on round three. Bring it back. He's going off. We're going to mix it up, man. We're going to try something a little different this time. Roll me. Buy me. I support it. What well, self buffing? Self buffing? Self buffing. Hey NL, you're looking leaner. Peloton going well? Thank you. Thank you. It's true. It is. It's going well. Thank you. Appreciate it. What is this squad? You know how it is, man. It's a simple game. Miles in, miles out. Many people are saying this. Okay? Buy me. Combine me. We don't need a hedgehog. I'm above it. Give me one of these, pay out the believers. We could make our own scorpion out of a bluebird that's just very strong. What is this team? Do you hate winning? I gotta be honest, man. A puppy? That's almost level three already. Do we look him pretty exciting? Probably should be taking the attack from that bird now. <clears throat> what is this squad? This is, a, I feel bad. This is actually like an inside job. I don't believe it. What, what a goose. Never mind. What a goose. Sorry, almost level two, not almost level three. But honestly, if you're a believer, you should be thrilled that we lost that round. Because I was about to say we need to raise the threshold to seven, and I was going to do it. But then, thanks to drawing, I'm not going to do it. But I thought about it for a second. I thought about completely invalidating the terms of our deal. I'm ashamed to say it, and yet simultaneously, could have been fun. Anyway, the real problem is that, like, the city doesn't have the infrastructure for, like, when it snows. This is a real problem. <laughs> so, it's even today, it's supposed to be, like, freezing rain. And half the city is, like, on a big hill that leads to, you know, water. And I'm like, we got our winter tires. The thing is, like, uh, I, am, I, I fulfill my role in the social contract. Okay, let's, let's get insane. I fulfill my role in the social contract. I have winter tires. A lot of people out there do not buy winter tires because they're like, oh, you only need them like one or two days a year. As a result, they're going to be freaking slip sliding away. They're going to be sliding into me. This chick can really be a one two, huh? Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Roll me. Freeze me. Buy me. I don't know about this one.
Winter tires won't help you on ice. Look, this is very like, oh my god, pay out the doubters. This is very like, I am very smart, but um, I grew up driving in the winter. So like, again, like it was or driving in, in genuine winter conditions, I should say. That doesn't bother me too much. But hold on. Um, cause I know you, you got to keep space. You got to drive slower. You know, if you get in a skid, you don't panic. You don't hit the brakes. You just point the car where you want it to go. You even give it a little bit of smooth throttle. You might hear like a little slip, 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 slip. And then you, you, you're going to get it back. Probably the problem is, I mean, I, I, you'll see it on, I'm sure in every city, but there's like, uh, dash cam videos of vancouver people they never brush the snow off the top of their car so you'll be behind somebody and then you know they'll drop a uh like a, a blizzard on top of the front of your car or directly in front of you on the road while you're driving at like highway speed that's a lot of fun or they won't uh scrape their back windshield and you're like i don't know how the hell i'm like supposed to be confident that you know what's going on behind you um, 